Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia Memories. So, let's jump right back in. Rika threatened me. Is that true? Wait a minute. Ever since that club was formed, I haven't been able to go out with any particular girl for very long. Maybe things only got quieter on the surface, and the bullying got worse behind the scenes. No, but then the girls I've broken up with well, I wouldn't go and join the club again in that case. <clears throat> Wait. Actually, the girls who complained about the bully didn't join the club, did they? In other words, the girls who joined the club afterwards weren't being bullied. You were part of them too. Now that I think about it, nobody really interfered when we first started going out. The interference only started when you lost your memories. What? What exactly did you forget? What the girls were doing. I should know that. Yeah. I wanted to know that, and that's why I joined the fan club. Monopolizing Iki is prohibited. That is the absolute law in this association. Read the guidelines Rika wrote for more details. If you follow the guidelines and act like an honest fan, your rank will increase. The right to confess to Iki goes in order from highest ranking. Butting in will not be tolerated. Iki is very kind, so he will usually accept if you confess to him, but you need to break up after three months. Everyone needs to get a turn. When going out with him, you need to report what you do every day. Emails or texts are fine. Although a newbie like you won't have the right to confess for a very long time. Understand, so if you do, sign the contract. So, that's what was going on. Ever since Rika met Iki back in middle school, this has been in the works. Hey, just so you know, if you tell Iki, we won't let you get away with it. Now that you are aware, you'd better sign the, or the agreement. It's okay, I won't tell him. If he heard about this, it would only hurt Iki. I remembered. Those girls were being managed by Rika. No matter how sincerely Iki was trying while dating them, and no matter whether he worked to protect them, it was no use. They weren't allowed to date for more than three months. That's because the girls had agreed to stop dating him for any longer than that. It wasn't Iki's fault at all. The one being used and controlled was actually Iki. I can't tell him. If I told him, he would definitely be hurt. I see. So that's why I didn't even tell Sawa. For so er, If somehow Iki were to find out about this, everything's connected now. The reason I decided to go out with Iki was because I joined the fan club and found out he was a nice guy. And the, er, and the interference by the fan club started because I lost my memories and stopped sending them daily reports. I broke the rules for the, er, of the contract, so they were bullying me <clears throat> to force me to break up with him. What did you remember? I... Are you hiding it again? You told me a secret about yourself, but you can't tell me a secret about myself. No matter what happened, I want to or I want to know what it is. I want to make a decision based on that. I have every right to do that, don't you agree? Elizabeth, tell me what you remember. Don't keep any more secrets from me. Manager. <coughs> is it really so bad to yield to extremists? Would it really be better to tell the truth, even if it would only hurt someone? Elizabeth, tell me. I... the thing I remembered was... Oh shit. Shit's gonna go down! August 30th. Oh, what? No way! We wouldn't do something like that! That's right, what are you saying, Iki? We all just like you, Iki. It doesn't matter whether it's true or not. I'm going to keep going out with her. That It'll be three months tomorrow, but that doesn't matter anymore. And if anybody does anything to hurt her, I don't care who it is. I will never forgive them. I mean it. 
That's all I wanted to say. No way! We're all just here because we like you. We'd never do something like trying to hurt her. Also, Iki, does that mean you won't come see us anymore? Iki, we can't see you anymore? Iki, we're very sorry for our selfish behavior. We'll be dissolving the fan club. We won't do anything to interfere with you two anymore. But please understand just one thing. We all truly do adore you and... Rika, that's enough. You'll get the permission from her as to whether or not I'm going to meet with you in the future. If she says no, that means no. My plans with my girlfriend make or take top priority. I won't forgive anyone who interferes with that. Under those conditions, I'll meet with you again. I'm grateful that you all have such strong feelings for me. Really? Iggy! However, I won't see you if she doesn't like it. If you do anything to her, I'll cut you all off completely. That's more than enough. Thank you very much. I still haven't forgiven you. I know. But you're still showing us that such consideration. Perhaps we were spoiled a little too much by your kindness. Let's go home, everyone. Okay, Riga. Yeah, you better run, bitch. I'm sorry. You wanted me to say I'd never see them again, right? But the manager said not to take them, or not, or to not make them think everything they did was meaningless. Only that I would dislike them if they uh, misbehaved. Haha, <laughs> it's like a carrot and stick policy. I wanted to see how it would go. What do you think? I'll protect you. I'll make threats, I'll fight, or I'll just use the power of love. I'll do everything I can to protect you. I also feel kind of sorry for them. They're all victims of these eyes, too. Anyway, let's go home. From the front door, with pride. The wall's a little broken. I'm sure Waka would get mad if he found out. I was watching. Oh, wait, whoops, that was manager. Sorry! Oh, uh, please, take the cost of repairs out of my wages. <laughs> That's what I intended to do. However, that was an impressive strategy, I, or a very worthy match. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Aw, thanks, manager. You're so sweet. August 31st, that means that it has been three months. Today's the end of August. But that doesn't change anything, does it? It would trouble me if it did. It would be painful to live without you, and I don't want to let you go. Even if you refused, I would still take you. It's okay, right? You love me, don't you? I won't take no for an answer. Just nod. Okay. Alright, good. Ha. <sighs> I've never given someone an order like that before, and yesterday was the first time I threatened a girl, too. So many firsts lately. And next, is the first time I'm going to try living with a girl. It's okay, right? Um, that's why I take you with me, even if you refused, and looking embarrassed like that won't stop me either. Oh, I should mention, even if we're li er, living together, I'm not going to force you to do things all of a sudden. We'll sleep separately. Anyway, want to go to the station. I want to buy a couple of futons for now at least. Okay. That's a look of relief on your face. It's so blatantly obvious. Just so you know, I'm seriously trying to seduce you here. Don't underestimate me too much. I said I won't force you, but I'll make you want me in no time. Let's see. How about we try living together for a while? How does one month sound? Before that time is up, you'll be begging for me to sleep with you. I don't think I'd ever do something like that. Oh, really? Sorry, but I'm pretty confident it won't even take one month. I'll whisper in your ear every night before bed that I love you and to come with me. How long do you think you'll be able to resist? Um, I'm having second thoughts. Hmm? You don't have the confidence to resist. I promise I won't go any further than that. You think you'd give in if I tempted you, hmm?
that's not fair. <laughs> hey, there's one more thing I want to, to do for the first time. Come on, let's go. Uh The front of the station? Yeah, there's something I've always wanted to do here. Oh, is he gonna kiss her in front of the station? Yeah! Oh, how cute! Iggy? We stand out quite a bit. But I won't be bothered by their gazes, and I don't care if they watch. I'm not doing anything to hurt you. I've made up my mind. And you should prepare yourself, too. I'll never let you go. You're not being fair at all, Iki. Woo! That was the end, the good ending for Iki. Oh my god, it was so much cuter than I ever imagined it would be. I might have to mute this part of <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to mute this because there's actual singing and stuff. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it in, maybe? No, no, I won't. Anyways. So that was the good ending for Iki in Amnesia Memories. Oh my goodness, that was so much better than I thought. Iki is not such a bad guy. I thought he was a, I thought he was a trash fire too. Just like Toma. Well, not just like Toma. Toma's worse. Toma is the worst. <laughs> but I still thought that Iki was pretty bad. But now that I've seen his good ending, he's not such a bad guy. Still though, some of the stuff that he did, it's just like, no, you don't do that. And you don't allow people to do that to you. Oh my goodness. Ah, the imagery. <laughs> the artwork in this game is so great. And I love the extra stuff at the end here. Aw. He's... Ah! It's so cute. <laughs> don't mind me, like, freaking out because this is super adorable <laughs> and there's their kiss and they lived happily ever after memories of Iki has been unlocked Okay. Ooh, memories. Oh, this is cool. Okay. August 28th, I confessed to Iki that I had amnesia. I was relieved he was so kind about, uh, about it. But he seemed a bit sad as well. Oh. Oops. I guess this just goes through it, right? Oh no, no, this is her side. Okay, that's cool. After explaining my amnesia, Iki told me about our experiences together. There were some things that I remembered and others I didn't. I listened intently so I could get back even the slightest bit of my memories of Iki. So, that's what happened up until we started dating. To be honest, it's kind of tough on me to have to explain. It's like I'm telling you how awful of a man I was. Now I need to explain just how hard I was trying to persuade you since June, I suppose. How hard I tried to get you to look my way, with some real life examples. In fact, let me stay the night and we'll talk. How's that? Uh... That. Elizabeth, is that hesitation? Is it all right for me to hope? It's strange to say it myself, but, no, er, but I'm in a slightly weird mood right now, so be careful. I was happier than I thought I'd be about you trusting me enough to tell me uh, your predicament. <clears throat> I'll be happy to stay if you're okay with it. Are you still torn? Haha, <laughs> come to a decision before I leave. So, 
Sorry, uh, was I staring too much? The sight of you pouring tea for me is just so cute. I can't help but look. I'm used to seeing you pour tea at work, but it's so rare for you to do it for me. Work must have been so hard without any memories. You'd really tried your best. If I knew, I would have given you much more support. That's right. Why don't I show you how to properly make and serve the menu items from now on? Just like when I taught you how to make a parfait. Or is there no need? Please do. I'm surprised. I didn't expect you to accept so easily. You've been doing your job so well lately. I don't think there's much for me to teach you. But if you're relying on me, then I want to live up to that. Now what should I teach you? Ah, uh, did you know there's a menu item that has the maid uh, put sugar in his tea for him? It's off the menu right now, but the manager was talking about bringing it back. You've just poured tea as well, so that... Oh, but you said you weren't sure whether you would continue working next month, huh? If you'll be living with your parents, it would be difficult. But by the looks of things, perhaps I can be hopeful. Either way, I'll teach you. Here, hold the spoon. Put in as much sugar as the master wants. Lightly stir. It's normal up to this point, but there is a special finish to it. You take the spoon and... It'd be faster to do it together, hmm. I'll hold your hand a little. You don't have to be so wary. I'm just touching your hand. At the end, you draw a heart in the, or in the cup of the spoon like this, and it's finished. You're not aware of it, are you? If you look up at the guy with those eyes while turning a hint of red, they'll be helpless. I end up wanting to kiss you and hold you. I think I'll ask the manager not to, re not to revive this menu item. I might be told I'm being selfish, but I'll ask if you could at least draw something besides a heart. Another menu item I could teach you is... Hmm, nothing comes to mind at the moment. Anything you'd like to try out, I can help you review too. I desperately, or I desperately want to spoil you, to look after you right now. I want to make up for hurting you because of what happened as soon as I can. I'm trying my hardest to endure the fact I caused you pain, even though I love you so much. Also, as you are, without your memories fully restored, I, I want you to fall for me. I have but little time left, so I want to give you as much as I possibly can. Only because of that, the most horrible thought has been hovering in my mind. That I could comfort you over your amnesia and use that chance to make you fall head over heels. I know how to treat girls almost to a useless degree, so I thought I could get you that way too. That's how truly pressed for time I feel. I'm always like this. I want so badly to have you and it's all I can think of. But I couldn't possibly use that low a tactic in this situation. I couldn't even keep quiet about it. I had to tell you. I think the most I can do right now is to not hide my heart and tell you how I truly feel. Even if it's pathetic, even if it's cowardly, I, do, I just don't want to lie. I do think it'd be nice if you were moved by hearing me confess my weaknesses, though. But I know the princess will not fall simply from empathy. I will be serious in trying to court you, and then it is not so easy, or, and when it's not so easy, I'll fail. I will become depressed. Then I can think about trying something else, another way to make you happy. Until now, I never knew just how hard it is to get the one you love to look your way. How much joy you'd feel to even be given a smile. I am able to understand now thanks to you. I love you, Elizabeth, more than I can put into words. I can't help but wish for you to always stay by my side, if it is at all possible. Elizabeth, at least let me stay with you for the next two days. Even if you refuse, I won't hear of it. Just this once. Aw, that was really cute. Okay, so that is it for Iki's route, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!